and another reason why I like Cala Salada so much. No editing has been involved in this video, everything is shot and raw. Hello lads. Oh, Come on. She's more likely to bite them too. Alpacas. Come on. He's gonna come. Want some? I would suggest to beat them apart so they don't make any trouble. Stop yeah. moving quickly, they go away. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here at. S Corral alpaca farm today. I'm um, checking out some alpacas. Bet you didn't know that Bisa had some alpacas. It's my first time feeding them. I'm in the cage with them. That's the women over there. No, that would work. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got any left, my lad. So, Bart, how did you become owning a farm here in Ibiza? Well, um, we basically started uh, using the alpaca wool because my wife is a weaver. Yeah. And then we found out how amazing and unique alpacas themselves are. Started thinking about having alpacas for ourselves to use the, to use the fiber, but then also, you know, because they're such an amazing yeah. creature for the animals as well. Same time, simultaneously fall, fell in love with the north of Ibiza while on holiday and just you know decided to move here and, and started the farm, yeah. start the farm over here it's quite a unique uh, setting i've been bugging you now for a couple of weeks to come up here and thanks for letting me come up My pleasure. and i'm feeding these guys but what if if people are watching this video ever wanted to visit is that possible it's it's possible to visit but only on appointment yeah uh, because we don't want to make a circus out of it we have to keep in mind that we can't stress out the animals yeah so it's three days a week that we allow visitors on appointment, so three visits a day, basically. Uh, and the best way to get in touch with us is send us an email, info at alpacasibiza.com. Yeah. I'll put everything in the description and if then, anybody uh, is watching. It's quite cool, look at the satin, we're in the north of the island. The sun's shining, I'm in a t-shirt, nearly February. And I'm feeding alpacas apples. It's cool. Very different than normally what you would see in Ibiza. So this is when what we get when we shear the animals. This is the root, the pure fiber of the female alpacas. Yeah. You can recognize Maron. This is Barbarella and the white one is Dusty, the heavily pregnant one. Yeah. Before she was orange, before she started rolling around in the red sand. <laughs> we also uh, sell little bags of the uh, alpaca poo. Why is that? Because it's... Uh, Alpacas are ruminants, they have three stomachs, digestion takes 63 hours and the end product, as you might call it, they call it Oro Negro, black gold, because it's the best plant fertilizer, natural fertilizer in the world. Oh wow. Just pour it on plants, pour water on it or let it rain and it does it magic for, fix, for five or six months actually. Oh so, wow, so incredible. It's, so I sell it for, for a small price. And I, I noticed you posted on Facebook the other day that you have like the pictures of yes the, the, the well i can this is the alpaca calendar it was a last minute uh idea of mine and i asked 15 photographers of the island to take one picture of one yeah. of our animals we uh we did this in two or three days got it printed in a week just before christmas uh and we sell it for the good cause because all the profits go to the Ibiza food bank because oh, well, yeah. i could imagine people need that now yeah people in need yeah i've been down there i couldn't believe the the problem that there was on the island um thanks to the guys that watched the video i think we raised like three thousand oh, and amazing. it was good but i mean it's not doesn't even touch on the actual problem that there is no i mean this every bit cool. helps and then we uh we did a little auction we had a peruvian day in canapapeta restaurant where we did an auction on the framed pictures of the same 15 photographers few of them are still uh, left and for sale we sell them for 30 euros each Perfect. and that money goes back to the photographers thank you thanks for letting me come down i know i've been asking you a, 
a few times and just with the way things have gone we never really got to get down here but perfect day today for it and uh, thanks for taking the time to show me around oh, um, I'll put everything in the description and uh, if you ever do come to Ibiza and you have a bit of spare time you can contact Bart and maybe you can come and see the alpa oh, alpacas. alpacas I can't say that word <laughs> so that was Bart a lovely guy I'm very thankful that he let me um, come and see the alpacas today um, it's now midday and the weather today is 20 degrees believe it or not middle of January well I mean we're not almost at the end of January um, and I'm just walking up the road towards Cala Salada and I'm gonna go for a bit of a hike um, I've mentioned a few times in the vlogs that I want to keep up uh, being out and being active um, we are on a form of lockdown where nothing's open but it's very important to stay active um, yeah so from Cala Salada I'm gonna go to Cap Nono and yeah it's a massive hike Cap Nono is basically the point of um, it's a really high point so if you were sat at Cafe Del Mar and Cafe Mambo and you look to your right and you see that high point away in the distance that's where we're going um, and yeah stay tuned it could be an interesting vlog could be a boring vlog I don't know I'm just looking at some of the construction that's going on around this part of the, the world very inspired but also broke so please comment on this video and maybe one day I'll be able to build a villa it's not anytime soon put it like that but yeah there is some really nice houses around Calislad area just absolutely stunning I don't want to show them because it's a little bit invasive and uh, a lot of people in Ibiza watch these videos so the owner will probably end up watching it at some point and slap me around the lugs but yeah cracking day cracking day Ah, oh, this villa wins. This is my favourite one. Can I be your friend? <laughs> one day, one day. So we've made it to Cala Salada and here is a very, very rare sight. Cala Salada car park with not one car in it. Oh, a dog! A good boy! Hello! He's okay? No? <laughs> asked me uh, how to get the Cala Salada in the summer you can go from Cancosh to Cala Salada and the bus runs from 9.30 to half 8 at night every 15 minutes I would advise getting the bus because if you drive here it's a pain in the arse to get parked even though the car park's empty today the police or the security is always here stopping you um, even this year when there was no tourists it was quite hard to get down here so that's a bit of information for you, but there is free parking. It's just too busy in the summer. So we found this little sign in Cala Salada. Basically detailing who's responsible for keeping the place tidy. You are, you filthy animals. So we're going to take a walk down the steps of Cala Salada for the first time in 21. Max the golden retriever didn't like me at all um, but he was alright he didn't bite and so that's us now at restaurant Cala Salada very very beautiful little restaurant located on the beach and um, if you have been watching my vlogs for a period of time this is where I done the interview with um, Judge Jules right here. Hola. So yeah, highly recommend it if you're ever in Ibiza. Great place for paella. Um, just a couple of drinks. Um, I imagine just sitting here. This is where I usually just come down and chill out here with a, a half a beer from this little um, bar. So you don't actually have to go up into the restaurant. But yeah, it's a great day as you can see. So we're going to make our way over there go along all the rocks and uh, hopefully stick to the coast and um, it's been a few years since I've done this walk so I'm assuming we'll be able to get through it no problem but we might have to jump over a few walls even after spending so many winters here like it is quite surreal to have this place all to myself but well, more or less um, and this is the famous uh, red villa on Cala Salada I don't know who lives there but it's uh, the location for many Instagram photos I'm sure you'll have seen but just look how clear the water is today can I emphasize it is 20 degrees 
And this is going back to what I always say is why I love living in San Antonio because this is on my doorstep. I mean, I've walked here. I've walked here from um, San Antonio. And uh, I just don't think you can do that. You can walk to Calabasa, Calacomta. Yeah, they are long walks, but it's just uh, such a unique setting. It's definitely my favorite beach. Just probably because it's so uh, convenient to get here from San Anne. And there's no stress, so I'm home very early and I'm not covered in sand all the time. And another reason why I like Cala Salada so much. No editing has been involved in this video. Everything is shot and raw. I don't even know what day it is. What date is it? Is it? Huh? What date is it? 27th. 27th of January. Shit. Didn't even realize it was that late. So 27th of January, 20 degrees, a cala salada. <sighs> yeah, I hope you're enjoying this. Do drop me a comment. Another important message to clean up after yourself. So as you can see, disgusting amount of plastic. Obviously the storms would have brought a lot of that in, but uh, yeah, just goes to show bottle caps, lumps of everything. So yeah, so important to put your um, rubbish away when you can. This is one of the beaches, most beautiful beaches, but look. I would pick that up, but I didn't bring a plastic bag with me today. I have done beach cleans before, which I'll link up in the, in the video. Oh, it's a bit of a shame to see it that way. But now you know. We keep going this way. I can smell curry. Yeah, okay. So there must be a house beside it. I don't know if you can see it in my face, but I am absolutely ghost. <laughs> and we're not um, nowhere near the top. We're just walking along the coast, going through some villas, and that's where we're going. The very top of that. Now it does look very close, but it is a long way. A long, long way over there. Oh, here goes it. So this definitely gets some blood pumping. If you look behind me, you can, not only can you see San Antonio, San Antonio Bay, you can see Asfedra, Calabasa. Okay, maybe not because the tree's in the way. Just to show you what we're working with. And this has been for a while, 15 minutes. So it's a tight walk at the best of times. to get up to and at the top all we have is that so there's another way down this way sort of going into the direction of uh, Santa Agnes okay so we've reached the top now and the guys are chilling out having sandwiches and a bit of water because it was a long walk um, and I want to just point out why this place is called Cap Nono it's an old wives tale or an old myth that in the 9th century um, obviously the island was Arabo run 
and uh, when the Catalans come in in the 1200s and like invaded Ibiza they changed it over to a Christian island hence why all the towns are called uh, named after saints and the reason this place was called uh, Cap Nono is because they say back then they marched all the soldiers up to the top of this point and made them walk off the edge and when they were walking off the edge they were obviously shouting no no I'm not sure how true that story is but that's an old EB thinking tale that I've been told over the years and I'm just passing it on I'm sure if you did research it there is probably something on the internet that says the same story um, but it's one of those things we will never know it's a uh, it's an old uh, an old myth um, this, there could be some truth in it you just never know we're going back hundreds of years and look at this for a drop so that's a little history or non-history lesson for you today also when I do tell you those little stories and maybe don't ever quote them completely true like I could be a couple of years out I'm no expert um, on the whole history of Ibiza but these are stories that have been told to me over the years when I've been going on hikes with people from the island and a lot of them are a lot of myths and yeah obviously this island has been through many transitions from the Arabs to the Catalans from the Romans so there is a lot of history and you can see that when you go and visit Dal Villa but for now if I've been a little bit wrong with what I've said in certain things don't quote me 100% because I'm no expert and I, I never want to be an expert but these are just things that I've picked up over the years having lived here for 11 years so uh, I hope you enjoy them and I hope that was a little history lesson for you today so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, I started with the alpaca farm with Bart which was incredible um, didn't feel there was enough for uh, just the, the one-off vlog so obviously I've continued the day I do go hiking a lot um, I've been able to show a bit of sort of high-end villas on the way through to Cala Salada if there is anyone in Ibiza with a lovely villa and you're watching this vlog I am opening to an invite any day I'll bring the beers just drop me a DM on Instagram and I'll come up for dinner and uh, no problem at all um, but yeah apart from that uh, we have been busy with Visualize doing some production stuff I made a wicked vlog which is going to be coming up in the next day or two um, so yeah stay tuned for that and uh, yeah I'm going to continue doing this content as 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 regular as I can um, I do have to sort of start thinking of business and um, with the way things are going looking forward to next summer it's going to be another very different year for me so I've got to adapt and just see how we can generate some income um, and yeah I thank you so much for watching I don't think there's going to be much to see on the way down and I'm going to end the vlog on that. Thank you very much. Do hit subscribe, like and comment. I appreciate every single comment. It keeps me company at the moment.